What's up, guys? It's Ronnie back with Modern Gun Belt. Um, first off, I want to give a couple shout outs. Uh, first, if you saw the intro to the video that is new, I did not do that. That is something that uh, my buddy uh, Nathaniel did. I'm going to put a link uh, to his channel down below. So please go follow his channel. It's uh, Devote101. He's coming out with different videos on Bible devotions, and I'm telling you guys, they're really good. So go follow his channel and check him out. He also does really good video editing work, so if you need that for anything, give him a shout. Uh, he can definitely help you out. Also, check out my logo. He got he did me some help. He got me some help with my uh, logo, so I think it looks a lot better. It looks really good, so if you like it and you like the work that he did for me, give him a holler. He can help you out with your logo help or in video intro help. So today what I've got for you is the beginning of a series I'm going to be doing about the uh, AR-15 9mm version. Uh, I became intrigued with the 9mm AR-15 and so I bought me a uh, 9mm AR-15 upper just to put on my lower. Well, I should have done more research before I just bought it because once I got it I realized I had some problems and it wasn't necessarily a problem more so than it was just knowledge that I didn't have things that I didn't understand about what I needed with an AR-15 9mm uh, for starters most people uh, up until the past year or two if you wanted to buy a 9mm AR-15, or if you wanted to own a 9mm AR-15, you had to have a dedicated 9mm lower for that gun. So you couldn't just swap it in and out like you can a 223 or a 300 Blackout, just swap those uppers back and forth to those lowers. Uh, it was a little bit more complicated. You had to have, uh, most of them were working with Colt magazines or the Glock magazines so you could interchange your pistol Glock magazines with your 9mm AR-15 lower but you had to have that specific lower or you had to buy a conversion kit that fit up into the magwell of your AR-15 lower like right here and that would be a you would be able to uh, put your Glock mags, your Colt mags into that converter and that way you could run your 9mm AR upper. <clears throat> well, I didn't know all of this before I bought it. Um, but just so happened there was a com there's a company recently that has developed a uh, conversion for standard P mags that allows you to change the guts out in one of these and you can run regular 9mm rounds in this with a traditional AR-15 lower. That way you can take your traditional AR-15 lower and use a 9mm upper. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit. So when I bought my 9mm AR-15 upper from Palmetto State Armory, I went ahead and bought a converter for the PMAGs. The problem is and that I didn't realize at the time uh, is that there are different BCGs for the 9mm. Different companies have developed different BCGs so depending on what BCG you get or upper that you get is going to determine what uh, converter you're going to need for your PMAG. So the, the problem that I ran into is that on Palmetto State Armory I bought one of their 9mm uppers and then I bought the converter, the only converter that they had on their website. Well, coincidentally, and I don't know why they did this, the only converter that they had, which was this one, was a converter for a CMN, CMMG Banshee, which that company has built a specific BCG. When I, and then when I say BCG, I'm referring to a bulk carrier group. This BCG, bulk carrier group. They have developed a specific bulk carrier group for a 9mm, which that it's called a radial delay blowback system. If you want to know more about it, I'll put some links to that video so you can uh, research that more on your own. But this is their converter. So coincidentally, that converter does not work with other companies' uh, 9mm upper. 
uh, because their BCG is designed differently. So the problem is, is the nine millimeter, traditional nine millimeter BCGs do not have a uh, casing extractor. So let me show you the difference here. So this one is the CMMG uh, converter, nine millimeter PMAG converter. And this one is one that I already have installed into a, P, uh, a PMAG. But this one, you can see right here, this little piece right here, that is actually your extractor. You can see that it is, this one is for the CMMG, this one is for the traditional BCG for nine millimeter. This piece right here is actually your extractor. So the problem that I ran into is I, I had the, the PSA nine millimeter upper and I was running the CMMG uh, conversion kit in it. So essentially what happened was is I, I popped off a round and the bulk carrier group came back but it never extracted the round. It just tried to reload that round and I kept getting jamming and I didn't know what was going on. So that, that was my problem. My problem was that I didn't even have an extractor but I didn't know it. So this is the standard uh, BCG that comes with the, the Palmetto State Armory um, 9 millimeter upper. So this track this track right here that you can see that is where the extractor is going to come through and kick that bolt and kick that uh, kick that brass out. I'm trying to see if I can get that up there for you to see that. That's what's going to kick that brass out. If you don't have that, if that's not there, if you're running the wrong, if you're running the wrong converter, you're not going to kick that brass out. So this is. Let me see if I can get this up here to show you how this actually is going to work. Yeah. So the problem is with these. Uh, nine millimeter BCGs, they don't, they don't, they're a little different than a traditional 223, 300 blackout BCG. They don't have, uh, an ex they don't have an ejector. Um, so let me, let me grab, so this is a traditional 223 BCG. And if you look right here, right there, that is your ejector. That is your ejector. This piece here is your extractor. So the way this works, and I didn't know all this before I got into it, is the bolt carrier goes forward, it grabs your round, and it locks it in. But you can see there that that extractor is constantly, or sorry, that ejector is constantly putting pressure on that round. So when, that, when you fire this round and the BCG comes back, it is going to release that it's going to release that empty casing. You do not have that on the 9 mm That round will stay in there unless you have something in there that is going to eject that round, which is this this converter. So once I got this converter, once I got the correct converter, which uh, this converter is from Mean Arms. Mean Arms. If you're following my Facebook or Instagram, you will see that I posted about this earlier. Uh, let me pull one of these new ones out and show you something. The way these things are shipped to you, they have this uh, round limiter on it. So right out of the box, this converter will only hold 10 rounds. But all you have to do is clip this thing off at whatever interval you want, which I want 30 rounds. I don't know why you wouldn't want 30 rounds. Um, you can see this one already has it clipped. I've clipped this one off. That is uh, clipped off so I can put 30 rounds in this magazine. So I just want to show you guys something real quick. Um, one thing that's different about the 9 millimeter BCG from the uh, traditional 223 BCG is the weight. Uh, the weight on this BCG is going to be quite a bit different. Let me show you. So this is your traditional BCG. 
11.6 ounces. All right, and this is your nine millimeter BCG. 13.9 ounces. So this thing's quite a bit heavier and a little bit beefier than your traditional BCG. Uh, so I showed you those different weights on the BCGs. One thing that you may have problems with, I haven't had problems with yet. I've run about 30 rounds through the nine millimeter AR uh, since I got the correct converter from Mean Arms. Uh, but one thing that you could possibly have issues with is the total weight of the system. So meaning your um, buffer tube weight and the weight of your BCG. So if, if those weights aren't right, you could have feeding issues, you could have uh, uh, ejector issues as far as uh, depending on what the inertia, what the forces are within that system, if they're not balanced, you could have your brass extracting forward, it could be extracting too far back, uh, it could cause a number of different issues. So that's something that I haven't quite dived into yet, but this is the beast. This is the uh, the buffer weight that I received when I bought my 300 blackout upper assembly. Um, so this one weighs right at 2.9 ounces. I, I think the traditional buffer weight is more around five ounces, uh, but that is the one that I've been using with my 300 blackout and with the nine millimeter upper, and I haven't had any feeding issues with it yet. Uh, but just purely for experimental. Uh, endeavor I bought a kit that allows you to change the weights of uh, your buffer weight so you can go from like 2.5 ounces I think up to about six ounces so I'm gonna do some experimenting with that um, and that'll be in a video to come like I said I'm gonna do a try to do several different videos around the nine millimeter AR platform um, I, I've looked up a lot of stuff on, on the line and I've had to piece a lot of things together and different information from this person, different information from that person. So I, I really want to take the 9mm platform, the 9mm AR-15 platform and try to uh, do a video series on if you're having this problem, where do you go? Uh, if you're just getting started, what do you need? Because I, I would hate for somebody to want to get into the nine millimeter platform for the AR and have the same problems that I did and not have the follow through to figure out, okay, hey, well, this is the problem. This is what I need to do to fix it. Um, so I've already done a lot of that stuff for you. So uh, I hope that I can just put together a, pla a series of videos that will really give you everything that you need to know about the nine millimeter AR-15 platform. So for this video, I'm not gonna bring out the 9mm AR-15 pistol because I've done some pretty cool stuff to it. Um, I've given it a makeover, I've given it a paint job, so I'm going to wait and I'm going to reveal it to you in a later video or on my Facebook post or Instagram post. So be looking out because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I would love for you guys to do, if you're watching the channel or if you're uh, on the Facebook, go follow the Facebook page, go follow the Instagram page, go follow the, the YouTube channel, um, and so you can keep up with the new posts and new things that I'm doing, especially the Facebook page. I would say that that's really where you're going to get the most information. I'm going to be posting a lot of things to Facebook. Um, if I'm going to post a new video on YouTube, I'm going to put a link uh, in my Facebook uh, in my Facebook page so when new videos come out the first place you're gonna know that they're coming out is gonna be in Facebook so please go follow those things if you haven't and again like I said big big shout out to uh, Nathaniel my buddy who really helped me out and fixed me up with that video intro and really helping me out with fixing that logo I think he did a great job and like I said if you need any video editing help or if you need logo help give the guy a shout out because he is great he's doing great stuff go follow his channel it's devote 101 um, great biblical experience great biblical uh, knowledge that everyone needs to know so please go follow his channel all right, so this is Ronnie at Modern Gun Belt. I'm signing off. I hope that you enjoy the videos. If you do, like, share, follow. Go check out my Facebook page. Go check out the website. Like I said, I am not a website designer, so the website is kind of iffy right now. But 
in the future, there's going to be some stuff coming there that I can't necessarily put on YouTube, maybe not Facebook, but I will let you know if there's some cool stuff going to be there. Uh, but I'm signing out. Love you guys.